Every now and then, my nostalgia will get the better of me. I saw this cartridge at a used game store, and I could have sworn it was a game from my childhood, and one that I really enjoyed. I'd get it home and turn it on, only to discover that there's nothing familiar to me at all. But that didn't stop me from giving it a go. This is the Stanyaks for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Released in 1990, the Stanyaks is a side-scrolling platformer published by Jalico and was originally an arcade game that got ported to the NES. The general concept and gameplay remained most of the same, but the story and graphics were completely different. You are a Stanyax, a name from Greek mythology, I think, a 16-year-old high school kid who is sent to another world to save the Princess Rosebud from the evil wizard Blackhorn and his assistant Skeletor. Your helper is a fairy named Cutie, who gives you a magical axe called Bash, and you must face Blackhorn's minions in order to save the day. Gameplay in a standing axe is a typical platformer, jumping and swinging your axe at foes. You get three spells, a lightning, fire, and time stop spell that you can use against the baddies. They're pretty useful, but you're limited in their use based on the gauge at the bottom of the screen. Also down there is your life meter, as well as a power meter. This is kind of a unique feature for the game. Usually button mashing is your best bet in a game like this, but actually letting your power bar fill up will let a Stanyaks hit a lot harder. You may not notice it at first, but as you progress, your power limit will be increased. Graphically, Stanyaks is fairly impressive. The story is told via cutscenes, a la Ninja Gaiden, and the sprites look pretty decent. Stanyax is a quite large sprite though, bigger than most games. This can make for some awkward movements and difficult hit detection at times. Levels are not only horizontal, but sometimes vertical, traveling either up or down. And monsters come in a variety of styles, from flying across the screen, to popping out of the ground, to skeletons shooting at you, and this Metroid looking guy that will chase you and drop projectiles till you finally take him out. Levels consist of mini bosses and arch bosses, and it's kind of an inconsistent mix of either one or the other, or both, or maybe none at all sometimes. This was kind of rough though, because sometimes you face a mini boss, which isn't too tough, but if you use too much magic and take too many hits, the end boss is going to be that much tougher. Overall, the difficulty is well balanced in my opinion. Dying sends you all the way back to the beginning of a stage, but getting a game over is not that detrimental since you have infinite continues. Which is pretty much the only way to get through a Stanyax. Learn the enemy movement patterns and start to progress much easier. The hardest part is probably the stiff movements and jumps, and of course, getting knocked into pits. Researching this game a bit, I found that there's quite a difference of opinion on it. Most seem to either love or hate it. So let me know what you think down below. Did you have a Stanyax back in the day? Did you enjoy it, or did you want to throw your controller across the room every time you played it? Or if you never played it, share a time your nostalgia tricked you, and you got a game you remembered as great, but ended up not being worth the $1.75 you spent on it.